Dupa is holy man. Okay. Buddha is not a, any, any name, it is a title. Buddha means knowledgeable person. Anyone can be Buddha once they give knowledge. That is the, the, the broad, broad definition of this. And the holy man, it is, looks like human. When Buddha died and his followers decided to make one structure that looks like Buddha, then they made one structure which is exactly like this. It's easy structure. Not a, they were not very good architect and like that. So what? They made first the dome set in the dome. The dome means it is the stored knowledge. Everyone, the knowledge is stored somewhere. Uh, yeah, but how to uh, abstract means how to get it, it depends on every every being. Baba! Right? And this is the first, is like an our abdomen. The dome shape is like human abdomen. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Right, right. Then after two compassion eyes, two eyes, which is the compassion eyes, and some say the all-seeing eyes. It is a blessing, not that watching us, our duties. Is the controlling our duties, and at least we we feel that our the Buddha is watching us. So what we have to control for the bad work. Only the good karma is encouraged by the two compassion eyes, and there is a nose-like structure. Yeah, looks like nose. That is the one in our. One more, I can't add you that This one is for the unity of all people. And in between two eyes, there is the third eye, which is I say, the eyes of wisdom. And then after there are circles, steps. It is divided into thirteen parts. Thirteen. Thirteen. One. Thirteen parts of the way to salvation, way to nirvana. And then at the top is the lotus flower. The Lord value of the lotus flower is very high in Buddhism. It is the symbol of good luck, but purity. Lotus is most pure thing, purity. And wisdom, as well as nirvana, symbol of nirvana, salvation. At the top is the pinnacle, it is just to protect the whole structure. <laughs> This is the way of making one complex super. That is the same which you can see here in every world. What, what, what is that? Like yes, it is made by different monastery memory for the different homes. When any monk passes out, then the monastery people come here and make one statue like this. That's the reason. Nothing they get inside. It's just for the memories of that person. Yes, exactly. And it is not very important to write name and other details. Everything is. So doing some restoration. That uh, is, uh, this is the uh, biggest monastery building apparently in the world, according to uh, Kumar, our guide. So we're walking on it right now. Look at the big dome. Lots of craft business around. And very interesting to say that it is a solid, nothing hollow inside here. Nothing, nothing okay. Hollow. In, the, in every stupa, yeah. it is very important. Yeah. There is a nothing inside. They don't keep anything inside, just to they make it rocky. And again, when was it built? The 5th century. The 5th century, okay. The other, other stuff that it is hanging? No, no never, 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 never. All is stuff solid. Solid. Wow. <laughs> Smaller version right there. Oh, this is... <laughs> Buddha. 
world Buddha. School of Tenga painting, special class to foreigners. Look at the one there, look at this. What a beautiful family. You should have a picture, portrait picture. Oh. Now he's going. Alright, so there we are. There are lots of monkeys in this area, by the way. We're heading to an area which is what's built like 200 years before Christ. What's the name of this place? Mm -hmm. Look at that again. What's the name of this place again? Monkey. Yeah, the real name is Soyambuna. Soyam, Soyambuna. Yeah. yeah. The Buddhist temple. Okay. And the nickname is given the monkey's temple. Soyambuna is very tough to remember. Okay. Very okay. hard. That's why. Right. Yeah. Given the new name. Looking at many monkeys in this area. Monkeys. Because of the mo lots of monkeys. Right. Yes. Okay. But so we have a gorgeous view here of Kamandu from this site, where the temple here, the monkey temples, if you want to call it this way, um, or the Buddhist temple, but or the monk temples. But look at the beautiful view we have from here of Kathmandu and the surroundings with some of the mountains in the backyard here and background I should say and there's the view this is what we're looking at Kathmandu it's very sunny uh, it's probably at least 22 to 24 Celsius it's about 12.45 the tour starts just after shortly after 10 a.m. and uh, our hotel is somewhere in that direction here if I recall we were able to look from the distance at this area here, so it would be nice to go here while we're here now. And uh, that's beautiful. Look at all those high rise buildings and all here. So I'm here now, just enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on where the group is, I think they're still up there somewhere. And uh, there we are. It's basically all the same, but you can see a lot of eels. We're surrounded by mountains, except because of the clouds and the smog or whatever. They don't appear like, you know, like easy to find, but they're there. They're up, obviously there. So there we are, going this, this direction now. And again, looking at this here. The surroundings. As we're looking at Kathmandu, Nepal. There's a big yard here, that's like a school, I guess. Maybe a school yard. Go up there now. 